14.4 talks about how to find the area of a triangle using sine. And then a new formula, which is the law of sines. So our objectives, <coughs> excuse me, is to find the area of any triangle. And we also want to be able to use the law of sines. So to find the area of a triangle, this happens, we're going to use these formulas, guys, when you don't know the height. Okay, any triangle it doesn't have to be a right triangle, doesn't have to be equilateral or whatever. Any triangle you want, you can use this formula to find the area of the triangle. So there's three different ones depending on what you're given. But I want to focus on this one because that'll dictate how the rest of them work. So it's one half times this side B times this side C. Notice how C is across from capital C. B, little b, is across from capital B, and little a is across from capital A. Okay, that's how those work, okay? Now, it's one-half times side B times side C times... Now, here's A. We would take the sine of A. Now, notice, this is side, angle, side. If you remember back from geometry. All you have to be able to do is recognize it. If you have a side angle side, if you know all three of those measures, you can find the area of a triangle this way. So the same thing works for C, A, and angle B. The same thing works for A, B, and angle C. Okay. So what is the area of triangle ABC to the nearest tenth of a square mile? Nearest tenth, so we have to round. Again, Side, angle, side. See how that works? So the area is 1 half times 10 times 5 times the sine of 31 degrees. Now the good news is you can put this all in your calculator at one time. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Okay, so we get approximately... 12.87. We round to the nearest tenth, so that's 12.9 miles squared because we're finding area. Okay, so it's very simple just to use that formula. Okay, law of signs. Law of sine says in any triangle, the ratio of the sine of each angle to its opposite side is constant. And constant means it's a number. In particular, for triangle ABC labeled as shown. Again, look, here's angle A. The side A is right across from it. Capital B. Angle B is across from the side B. Angle C is across from the side C. Okay? So those, those letters are paired up on purpose. Now, when we do the law of sines, we're going to be picking two of the three fractions. When we solve. Okay? So any two of those three are good. They're just saying there that all three of these ratios are equal. But we're only going to use two. In triangle PQR, the measure of angle R is 39 degrees, the measure of angle Q is 32 degrees, and PQ is 40 centimeters. They want to know what is RQ. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a triangle. Now these two are both acute angles. So I've got, let's just say I've got something like this. That's a terrible triangle. That's, wow. Wow. So, let's see. Here's R. That's 39. Here's Q. That's 32. Well, there's one more letter left, P. And PQ is 40. What is RQ? We don't know. Well, let's see. Do we have any pairs? Well, let's see. When I say pairs, I mean I've got an angle here. Do I know the side across from that? Yes, I do. 
So I know right now that I have sine 39 over 40. That's one of my ratios. Now here's the problem. Here's 32. If I look across, there's nothing there. So I can't pair anything with 32. Here's x. We know that goes on the bottom. The problem is, is we don't know what the angle is across from x. However, there's 180 degrees in a triangle, so if I do 180 minus 39 minus 32, I should be able to do this in my head, but it's 109. So this angle right here is 109 degrees. So this turns out to be sine 109. Okay, so that's why you have to draw a picture. You can't just assume that everything just nicely matches up. What we have here is a proportion. Cross, multiply. So I have 40 sine 109 equals x times the sine of 39. Now, the sine of 39 is a number. I mean, if you put sine 39 in your calculator, it's going to spit out a decimal. So when we divide, we're going to divide by the sine of 39. So in my calculator, in parentheses, 40 sine 109, double the parentheses, divided by sine 39. Okay, so I get x is 60.09, which we will round to 60.1. And that's my answer. Okay. Draw a picture. Okay. Now, that was finding the length of a side. This problem talks about finding an angle. So it says in triangle RST... T equals 7, R equals 9, and angle R equals 110 degrees. What's the measure of angle S? So angle R, here's angle R, is 110. Should be a degree sign. Now, it says R equals 9, little r. So that means across from that, we're going to put a 9, because that's the R's match up. Now, R, S, T. It says T equals 7, little t. Well, here's T right here. Okay? So across from capital T, I'm going to put lowercase t, which is 7. Now, here's the issue. They want the measure of angle S. Well, I don't know anything about S. There are no S's in my given. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find the measure of angle T first and then use my 180 degree rule to find angle S. So I have the sine of 110 over nine, because they're paired, equals the sine of T, because I don't know the angle, over seven. So remember, the angle goes with the sine, the side length goes on the bottom. So again, I have a proportion, I cross multiply. I have 9 sine t over, equals, excuse me, equals 7 sine 110. Now, this time, t is with the sine. So you can't just divide by the word sine. That's ridiculous. You can't do that. What you do is you divide by 9. So the 9s cancel. And that's someone's car alarm. It's not mine. This is what happens when you have the windows open on a nice day. Thank you. So, sine... We're going to keep going. Sine T equals... So now we're going to, in our calculator, 7 times sine 110, close the parentheses, divided by 9. Now... You're going to get 
0 0.73 blah 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 leave it leave that number in your calculator do not get rid of it we're going to round at the end when you find an angle we talked about this in 14.3 when you find the measure of an angle you do the inverse so this is what you're going to put in your calculator so inverse sign of your answer what this does guys is this gives you a more accurate answer so t is 46 learn how to write I think the car alarm got me all messed up okay but that rounds to 47 degrees now here's the thing we're not done because the problem says, what's the measure of angle S? So this is about 47 degrees. So angle S is 180 minus 110 minus 47. If I'm not mistaken, that comes out to 23 degrees. And that is your answer. Okay. So we had to do the law of signs to get the other angle and then use our 180 rule to find what they were looking for. Sorry for the car alarm.